All right, very good. We'll get started. So let's go ahead and start going on the back. Um, before we get started, we'll go around the room and say names. So all adults in class, I just say that the kids can call coach. Um, so I'm Coach Ted or Coach Osberg. I'm Jackson. Jackson. Lucas. Lucas. Adeline. Adeline. Mark. Mark. Okay, Coach Mark. Coach Mark. Lily. Lily. Yes. Coach Alex. Eli. Eli. Excellent. Okay. All right, we're going to just start jogging. So just follow me and we're going to get the team set up. Probably the hardest one. So take it easy on yourself. Try to do just a nice fluid motion. But what we're going to do is stand with one leg straight and one leg back. Or, sorry, front leg bent, back leg straight. Just keep your arms up. And then you're going to try 
and as quickly as you can, you're basically going to try to knee yourself in the chest and bring the leg right back. What that does is develop speed and power for the front front leg kicks. Um, but we're just going to, so like I said, you know, don't do it so hard you hurt yourself. Try to take it easy on the body, but we're going to try to be nice and smooth. You'll have your You'll have your forward leg bent, your back leg straight, and you're gonna bring your knee into your chest as quick as you can and then back to where it was. So it's gonna go. Okay, all right, we're gonna do five on each side. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, switch sides. Other leg forward, other leg back. Okay, one.
against each other, I'm going to line up my hips with my partner's hips, okay? I'm going to put my feet by my partner's head, and I'm going to put my head down by my partner's feet, and we're going to grab our hands underneath the legs. So we both have the same kind of position here. Now as I count, you're going to bring your hips up and over. One, two, three, we're going to do 20 of those, okay? All right, so let's see. Um, yeah, y'all can work together. Um, sure, that's fine, then you too. Okay, all right, go with, yeah, you gotta go with them. Go with them. No, go with them, let's go. All right. Let's go. All right. Okay, make sure you don't kick anyone next to you. Okay, we're gonna do this for 20. I remember. Once we're all in position. I remember. There you go. Okay, ready? Here we go. One, One two, three, three, four, I'm on five, I'm on six, I'm on go seven, eight, go. nine, go, ten, go, eleven, go, twelve, go, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. One more. Okay, let's everyone line up on the black line. Okay, great. So we'll do a uh, we'll do a quick restroom and water break. So anyone who needs to go to the restroom and get water, there's restrooms and water right down the hall. And uh, how to not get your knees hurt. What I mean by that is, let's say that he and I are both, you know, pretty strong, 
and we start fighting against each other. And so let's say that let's say that I come forward towards him, and then he comes forward towards me. Now, if he's stronger than I am, he can push me back. So he pushes me back. Now, do you see where my leg is behind me? This is dangerous. And if his body weight comes down on top of me heavy in this position, this is really dangerous for my knee. So one of the reasons that I'm teaching to go from here to here to here is so that if someone drives back into you, you remember to pull your leg back. Now both my legs are in front of me, I can use them to fight, and my knees are safe, okay? So, whereas otherwise, if I forgot to pull my knee in, and he goes back, and then he comes down on top of me, my knees aren't safe. That's a dangerous position for it to be in. A lot of weight could really hurt me, okay? So this drill is something that you guys can do at home, and it teaches you how to keep your legs in safer positions when you're fighting, okay? Now the next thing that we worked was this side to side, okay? So I'm gonna talk about this side to side. So this side to side is, if, we, if, I'm, if we're in a combative situation, a self-defense situation, and I'm standing up here, and he's down on the ground, one, he wants to block his face, because if I start trying to hit him or kick him, you know, he wants to have some defense there. Two, the other thing is you see how he's scooting, he's using his, his feet, his hips and his hands to kind of maneuver backwards, all right? So he also wants to, another thing that he's trying to do is keep his belly button po uh, pointed at my belly button because if he does that, then he's always facing me. So he's always facing me. So anything I try to do, he can back up, move away, block, right? But if he doesn't keep facing me, if he lets me get to the side here, then boom, 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 like he's in trouble, right? He doesn't have the same defense. So one thing that you're always gonna stay focused on is keeping your hips pointed at the other guy's hips. And the way that I like to think of it is just keep your belly button pointed at your target, right? So if he keeps his belly button pointed at me, then he's always staying with him here. You see how he switches hands if I go this way? And he's always in a position where he can block punches or kicks. If he doesn't stay with me and I go to the side, then now he, he's not blocking punches and kicks, you see that? Yeah, you can close the door, sure. Okay, so what I'm gonna have you all do, and uh, the coaches can actually work with me on this, we'll trade off. So we'll have three coaches standing up and three students sitting down. And what I want the coaches to do is to just kind of walk side to side to side and have the students stay with you, okay? So I'll show you this, what I mean with Alex. So with Alex, if I'm here and I walk this way, he's gonna stay with me, he follows me. If I change and I go this way, he stays with me. He's keeping his belly button pointed right at me, so that means he's facing me, and he's, he's got his hand up so he can block any punches. If, I, if I'm walking this way, you see how he's posting with that hand, and he's moving that way. If I change, and actually, so don't change. If I change, and he doesn't change. So he's still on that hand, and he's still with this arm. And if I go this way, he doesn't change. Again, I get a bad angle. I can get behind him, you know, I can do lots of bad stuff to him. So he's always gonna stay with me. Stays with me, stays with me. If I switch, he switches. So kiddos, that's what you're gonna do, okay? The adults and coaches, we're gonna stand, we're gonna stand up and we're gonna try to walk around you. And when we try to walk around, I just want you to stay with us. That's it, just stay with us, just like Coach Alex is doing here, okay? All right, so we'll have uh, Coach Alex here, me here, Coach over here. All right, and then um, we'll just, we're gonna make sure we each get to go with every kid, all right? So you guys come on up in front of me and someone up in front of him. And I see Eli, you go in front of Dad. And Jackson, you'll be next. Okay, you're right here. You're right here, Dad. Okay. Can I have your drink? One leg forward. There you go. So you got one leg up. One hand blocking your face. That's it. Okay, all right, ready? So if I try to go around, good, yep, good. If I switch, you gotta switch. Switch your hands, you gotta switch your hands. There you go, good, good, good. good. Okay, other side. Okay, that's great. Okay, go ahead and go back to the line. Jackson, come on up. Okay, you gotta do the same thing. So sit down. Sit down. Yep, okay. If I go around this way, you gotta follow me. Okay, if I come this way, you gotta follow me. You gotta follow. Okay, if I switch, you gotta follow. Okay, good. Good. All right, okay, go ahead and line back up. Good. Now, so if I go this way, keep one leg up, one knee down. That's 
sit. Good. Yeah. Okay. Switch again. Okay. Great. All right. Go ahead and line back up. All right. Let's have everyone just go ahead and line back up. That was good. That was perfect. When they're going that way, which leg is so line up. Which leg is him? Uh, so they will. So they'll always have one knee up, one knee down, one hand up. Yeah. And they're always going to be pointed. So if you go that way, then you're going to start moving this way. That's it. Okay. If you. Okay, whatever yeah. kind of feels right. Okay, yeah. Right yeah. 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 You guys got that? Okay, all right. Um, so, yeah, coaches, let's go to line up real quick, too. And then, uh, except for chops, I need to real fast. Okay, so the next thing, now I'm going to have you guys do the full thing. I'm going to have you do the full drill. And what I mean by that is you're basically learning to keep yourself safe if you've fallen down and somebody's standing over you and they want to hurt you. Okay, so um, so let's imagine that, you know, uh, Coach Alex here, he's the big and strong guy, he's picking on me. I fell on the ground, and I just want to kind of keep myself safe and get up safely without getting hurt. So again, if he's standing over me right here, and I try to just get up, I can get up right into a punch or knee to the face, right? So he can, like if he's, if he's there and I'm here, and I try to get up, I can get up right into a punch or a knee or a kick, right? So any of those things can really hurt me. So I wanna keep my face blocked. I also don't wanna let him get to the side of me. See here, if he's to the side of me, I'm not blocking anything. He can hit me, punch me, get behind me, hurt me, right? So I can't let him get behind me, all right? So one, I wanna make sure that I'm always blocking. And two, I wanna make sure he doesn't get behind me. The way that I do that again is to keep my belly button pointed at him. Okay, so go ahead. So he's kind of moving. He's trying to get around behind me. Okay, so he's trying to get around behind me, and I'm not letting him get around behind me. And then when I decide, like, let's say he comes straight forward towards me. So he's just coming straight towards me, and he wants to hit me or take me. If I move back, move back, move back, I can take this leg. When, I'm, when I feel like the timing is right, I can take this leg, and I can take it behind me. Okay, now, if I stand up, I can still stand up right into a punch. Be ready to punch me. Yeah. So... So when I stand up, go ahead and be ready to come up to punch me. I want to stand up moving away like that, okay? So I stand up still creating space and creating distance from my attacker, all right? So my attacker is here, okay? He tries to go around and get behind me. I don't let him, all right? He starts coming straight towards me. I'm going to move away. As I'm moving away, I'm going to take this leg behind me. As I get that leg behind me, I'm going to stand up and pull my head back towards me. And now I've created space and distance where it's safe for you, safer to re-engage, okay? So I'm gonna try this with each one of you. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna, you're gonna follow me, follow me, and then you're gonna scoot back, scoot back, get this leg behind you, and stand up and get away, okay? All right, let's see, Eli, let's have you go first, since you've done it before. Until I come at you, punch you, and kick you before you get up. Okay, let's try it one more time. Okay, okay I'm gonna come straight towards you. Go back, go back, get that leg behind me. Go back. Okay, good. All right, Jackson, you try it. Okay, now I'm just gonna try to come behind you. Don't let me get behind you. Yeah, it's too facing you. Okay, that's what I'm Okay, so let's go a little slower this time. Going a little too fast, let's take it a little slower. So, one hand up, one knee down. Okay, I'm coming around. Good, good, good. Okay, now I'll switch sides, switch sides with me. Switch hands, yeah, good. Okay, now I come straight towards you. Go back, back, and get that leg up. Yeah, and get your head out of there. Good, good. Okay, Okay, so same thing. Come around this way. So Straight towards you. So you're going to back away, back away, get that leg behind you. Yeah, and when you pull your head up, pull your head up far away. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, let's move more to the middle. Okay. All right. Same thing. Get that behind you. Okay. Yeah. Straight back. Straight back. Okay. You're almost, almost 
to show kind of one more self-defense technique today, and then we're going to do our stretches and wrap it up. Um, just think of the things that we've learned today as kind of an introduction to some of the things that we're going to be doing a lot more of as you come to a lot more classes. Um, so, so what I want, what I want each of you to do is we're going, and you can take a seat. Go ahead and take a seat. We're going to each work today um, a very basic mount escape. And what a mount escape is, it's a way to get somebody off of you when somebody's on top of you. So if somebody's on top of you, you know, they might be bigger, they might be stronger, but it's a way of getting them off of you. Um, that's probably one of the most common ways that you'll continue to like use in your self-defense training. So, okay, so let's say that Coach Alex here is sitting on top of my stomach. So this is a, this is a really bad place for me to be. It's a bad place for me to be, one, because if, if it were a real situation and he wanted to hit me, he has gravity on his side. So when he comes down with punches, they come with a lot of gravity. For me, you know, I'm just kind of throwing punches straight up and they're not very strong. And they're not as hard as him with all his body weight and all his gravity. So this is a position you don't want to be in very long. So, <coughs> so I'm going to show some simple steps and there will be more steps that I'll add later. But, uh, but for now, I'm going to show enough simple steps to get the person off of you. So first off, what I, what I want to do is get him to post on the ground. So if, uh, no, go ahead and stay up. So I want to force him to post on the ground. So if he's up like this, you know, I'm going to throw off his balance. So one of the things I'll do, you know, you're fine, just sit up. So one of the things that I'll do is maybe grab a shirt, and then I pull the shirt down, and as I pull the shirt down, I push my hips up. So I'm going to come here, grab the shirt, pull the shirt down, and as I pull it down, I'm going to push my hips up, and that should force him to have to post on the mat. Okay, so there. So now he had to post his arms on the mat. So now I'm gonna bring one arm inside and I'm gonna trap it here. And then I'm gonna take my foot and I'm gonna trap it over his foot. Now I'm gonna look over my shoulder and push off of both my hips and roll. So now I'm gonna roll this way. Okay, and so now I'm up. I can try to stand up and move away, right? So this is just a really basic get somebody off of me technique. And I want to see if we can try to do one each person today before we wrap things up. So one more time. So I have somebody sitting on top of me. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is grab their shirt. And I pull the shirt down as I push my hips up. So my feet have to plant on the ground. And I push my hips in the air. Boom. When they come, when they come down to, to uh, post on the mat, I'm going to, I call this shark biting the arm. So I'm going to. Grab the arm real strong. Sharks, sharks don't bite with you know limp noodle arms, right? Like shark when a shark bites, it bites real, real, real strong. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna grab this real strong. I'm gonna take my foot and trap it over his foot right here, and then look over my shoulder and bridge. Okay, and now you're on top, and you could get away. Okay. Um, so let's see. Let's grab our same partners that we had when we did the legs over drills. Okay. So you're with me. Once he does that, you're going to grab this arm real strong. And, uh, and, uh, and I want to make sure your wrist doesn't get hurt when she tries to roll over, so let's turn your wrist that way. You're going to step over this foot right here and trap that too. Okay, and now look towards me and push your hips in the sky and roll. That's it. Get on top when you roll them over, you better get on top. Okay, okay so trap her down. You're going to trap this foot and trap this arm. Okay, and now you're going to trap this foot. When he traps that arm, go ahead and hug his shoulder right here. Okay, now push your hips in the sky and roll and get on top. Now it's her turn. Now it's her turn. Okay, now. And then, wait, like, and then roll, see? Uh, a little look that way before you roll, see? Now you're going to do it. Trap his arm, trap his foot, and you're going to turn and roll that way. Good. Good. Good stretches or keep on the same direction? Uh, let me show you guys something real quick before someone gets hurt. So pay attention, pay attention because you almost got hurt. All right. So look, just gonna use this scenario for a tip. And you, Eli watches watch this very well. So e Eli remembers this technique very well. But you guys have to remember this too because I, because I don't want you to drill this technique on your own, and which you should drill this technique on your own. But I don't want you to drill it on your own, and I don't want you to get hurt. So pay attention to this real quick. So look. 
if I'm the person he's trying to throw, right? I, obviously, I don't want him to throw me. So when I post my hands, I'm posting them in an attempt to stay where I want to be, right? These are meant to keep me where I am. So when he grabs my arm, he grabs my arm and my hand's right here and he traps my foot, okay? And he starts trying to roll me that way. Go ahead and roll. See, we're rolling over my hand and we're about to roll over my hand in a very unsafe way. So if you who are on top, if you leave your hand right here and they start trying to roll, go ahead and try to roll. See, he's rolling over my hand in a very dangerous way. We keep going and all that body weight ends up on my wrist. It can break my wrist, okay? So, so when I feel that I'm going over and this hand isn't helping me anymore, I'm not gonna leave it there to get broken. I'm gonna grab his shoulder, okay? So I'm using this as defense, I'm using it as defense, but as I feel myself going over, go ahead, as I feel myself going over, I say, go with it. I, yeah, go with it. I bring it in to keep myself safe, okay? So one of the things that you might do in a sparring situation is you might really, really fight for it. So let's say I put my hand here and he traps it. Okay, and I've got, that's the only thing that's stopping me from going over. So as he goes, I keep staking my weight back here and I keep, keep that hand there and it works. It works, right? It stops me because I managed to get all my weight over here. So then this hand really helps me to keep me in place. But if I didn't get to do that, if I didn't get to bring all my weight down and he starts taking me over, at a certain point, I have to realize I need to, I need to tuck and roll. Because if I don't tuck and roll, I'm gonna get rolled over and my wrist is gonna break. So when we're drilling, when we're drilling and they trap your arm, at that point, go ahead and just hug their shoulder. Okay, because you're just doing a drill. You're not. You're just letting them try to learn the motions. You're not trying to fight them. So when this hand's here, and they start going that way, just grab the shoulder so that you can go over safely. Okay, don't don't leave your hands out here to get rolled over because if you roll over your hand in that in that position, you're probably going to break your wrist. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and oh, circle up. Actually. Yeah, we'll circle up now. I think that's enough for today. Um, we'll pick up where we left off next class and get some more work done. So let's go butterfly. Uh, Jackson, come on. Circle. Yeah, we go to circle. Okay, so butterfly stretch. Um, just try and uh, bring your head down, bring your body down towards your toes. Get a stretch. So we're going to bring our left leg in front of us, and our right leg is going to come behind us and then down to our elbow. Okay. I can go. I can Sit up and you can bring our left leg in and our right leg out to touch your toes. Okay, 
both legs out in front. You can get off your sit bones like that. Reach out and touch your toes. Sit back on our feet and stretch your arms out in front of you. Switch sides. Okay, back to the center. Shift your lower back side to side. Just go ahead and sit forward. Hold on, Jackson. So I'm going to do a couple of these on my own so you guys can see, and then you can do a couple on your own, and then we'll roll up to standing. So I'm just going to, I'm going to bring my feet over my shoulder, and then try to kick back all the way forward, and then bring the feet back over the other shoulder. Okay, and we'll just do a few of these on our own. Thank you all for being a part of class today. 
they bow to each other. And um, ordinarily, we would tear the mats together as a group and put them away, but I'm going to wash them today, so go ahead and don't worry about it. Um, I'll take care of it. Uh, but I will get you a card. So the cards are just like an attendance card. That way, I can kind of keep track of how many classes we've been to and you've been to and helps with ranking and stuff like that. Um, so, all right, we bow to each other. Thank you guys. Okay, and I'll pull out our. Um,